Hello my drippy yippies and welcome back to another episode. In this episode we're going to be fitting the gas tank. Just before we get started, I just want to make it clear. Don't tackle this build unless you're 100% confident in knowing what you're doing. Because this could be a very dangerous job, if not now but in the future, if you don't connect something properly. It could then leak and then it could cause an explosion. So now we got that out the way. I'm just going to give you the quick rundown on the materials I'm going to be using right the way out through the job. So first off, I'm going to talk about the gas tank. This is an LGP refillable gas tank that will be underslung under the van. It also comes with these fixing feet already attached to it. And this is a 720 by 200 mil gas tank which is also a manual shut off so that just means you'll have to turn them on and off manually I've also got the refillable hose attachments which comes with the UK bayonet fillable hose attachments uh, I've also bought these three attachments for when you go to European countries because the European countries have um, different nozzle hoses. I've also got this two way shut off valve because I'm only going to be running an elect uh, me heater and me cooker. I've also got this copper pipe with a black rubber sleeve on and the black rubber sleeve just pre protects it from any debris on the roads shooting up in it now. I've also got this pressure regulator that regulates the pressure from your tank to your appliances in the camper van. I've also got these pressure gauges which tell you how much pressure how much gas is left in your tank so this one will go on your tank there and this one will go inside your camper van I've also bought these clips as well that you want to set every 500 mil away from each clip and they've just got a bit of black rubber on as well and that'll just protect rubbing against the pipe. I've also got some threaded rod and bolts to fix the tank up. And I've also got this underbody sealant which I'm just gonna spray the tank in. And I'm gonna spray all the bolts and the threaded rod in as well just to give it a bit more protection. So now we got the materials out the way, let's crack on with it. So I've just cut myself a little template, just the, the size of the tank and this is just going to help me find out exactly where I'm going to um, be putting the holes for me rods to come through. <laughs>
So I've got the tank, as you can see down there, I've got the tank in place, ready to go in. I've got my holes drilled with the washers in. I'm gonna go underneath, keep the tank holder while I get my man to uh, twist the, uh, the nuts on and tighten it all up. So, just gonna fit the refillable hose into this here. So, it's gonna attach in here. Come up. Over there, else, and refill up on this side of the van. Fit the uh, the attachment to where you'll actually fill the gas up at the station. So I've gone for this bracket, which is just going to be sit situated on the van about there. But it has to be 500 mil away from an opening in the van. So this is my opening, where it which is close by. And 500 mil is about here. So from there to about here. So I'm going to actually put my bracket somewhere there and that toe should then come through and it will sit there I've got um, other bits and bobs to go on this so let's crack on with it I've got my bracket here I've just had to make this bit up myself because I can't actually get me drilling that way just to fix this one piece. feed this will feed up into the van which goes along to the pressure regulator which is there that then goes along here over there down back up and then into the van right over in the corner this is the feed for the pressure gauges so it comes off there, out, up, down, along there, along here, down, and then it goes up into the corner, just behind that one there. And this is me fill up hose, which just goes round, round here. 
over the top until the pose comes up. That's how you fill up your gas. And then inside the van, this is where the gas comes up into the corner. And then we'll have me cooker running off there and me heater running off there. This wire here is the wire from the pressure gauges, which goes up behind the board. And then there's my pressure cage there. It's obviously not wired in to the mains yet. Just brought you under the van for a little recap of your time on the gas tank. Number one, only tackle this build unless you're 100% certain you know what you're doing because this can be very dangerous and result in an explosion if not done correctly. And you do not want to be blowing up on your holiday because that will be a nightmare. Number two, Make sure you get this checked over by a certified gas engineer just so you're 100% sure that everything is fitted correctly and you've got no problems with it. So on that note, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned, stay active and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.